All right, so right now it is 6.29, and we're supposed to be ready 6.30. We are heading to the airport, or the little, wherever it is that the little plane that we're riding is taking off. It's a cat right here at my feet. And uh, so yeah, and it is super, super daylight out. Already at 6.30, I mean it was, sun was up not too long after five, I think. And uh, it's one thing crazy about here is it gets bright really early. So yeah, trip to the plane is next. Okay, so we got ourselves in a little interesting situation today. Um, <laughs> they're laughing at my... <laughs> okay, it's not that serious. Um, so we are currently in a quite more remote village area. Um, there's all along this hillside. They got all their huts and houses and everything kind of all along the area. Right there behind us is the uh, runway. So that's what we came in. We got on a MAF flight mission, uh, aviation fellowship, and uh, took a flight, a little six, five or six seater plane um, this morning out of uh, where we're staying in Lesotho and flew, I don't know, about 40 minutes into uh, the mountains here. Um, to a village that's pretty much only accessible by plane. It's it's like a six hour drive if you wanted to drive here. So But it's it's in the mountains <laughs> and it's remote and yeah. it's beautiful up here though. It's it's gorgeous. So we're at this little grass strip here and um, trying to get some different shots and so what happened was since this guy flies with MAF if there's an emergency situation, a medical emergency, and what they deal with a lot, um, he has to go take care of that. So not long after we were here, he got a call for that. So he has to go fly from uh, this village to some other village to pick up the person. 
person and then fly to another one to fuel up. Or he has to pick up the person, take them to another spot, and then go to another place to fuel up and come back here. And so we got to sit here for about two hours, which now is about an hour and a half left. So we're hanging out by this village in a remote area. And we're just enjoying the breeze, going to get some footage, some different stuff we need for the series. And just enjoy and life. And of all the <laughs> trees that provide shade, they happen to be right here by the runway or else we'd be sitting out in the sun. So we're <laughs> thankful for this little we shade are, tree. We're thankful for this little shade tree. <laughs> but, uh, so that one, now we can say we, we've been left at a remote village in a near unreachable place. <laughs> and, uh, and this is, I mean, it's basically how the missionaries did it back yeah. in the day. They got dropped off at a place like this and... It's really yeah. yeah, pioneered it. Yeah. So we're out here getting a taste of that for a couple hours by ourselves. Yeah. We're just waiting for our plane to come back. And Pick us up. do a little shooting while he's gone, and that's about sums up our situation right now. <laughs> we'll touch back in when we are picked back probably up. <laughs> when we, probably when we're flying away. Well, we are now in a different situation. Uh, our aircraft, that was going to come back supposed to come back at two o'clock apparently he was stuck at a hospital waiting on an ambulance or something and so we really don't know when when uh, he's gonna get back so we're just sitting here chilling here under this nice tree thankful for the tree hanging out in the shade Lucas has lost the energy to stand while flying his quad, so now <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take it, gotta relax when you can, right? Yep. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> and there is Mr. Galt. Slowly making his way up here. So we just got an update. The plane should be arriving around 15 minutes from now, which means we're going to have to walk back down the runway, which we've already done like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just we're getting used to this runway. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna walk all the way back down there and set up our cameras and everything, and uh, hopefully we can catch it. Good enough. Really cool. yeah. well, but we like to be on the ground and get pictures of it. 
it's a lot of high it was. Set maybe, but yeah, it's it pretty high. We get, it uh, apparently it holds the world record for repelling yeah, beside a waterfall or something like that. Yeah, it's in a game of yeah, like yeah, like like yeah, like like yeah, like yeah, world record. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty impressive. I had a really good time, and I got a lot of great stuff, and I hope you guys something for lunch, which really is Very cool. like 2.30, yeah. yeah. Lunch was a couple hours ago, so <laughs> we were super hungry. We only had a bottle, one bottle of water when we were up there, so we were really thirsty. Refreshing ourselves with hot water. Better <laughs> than <laughs> Yeah. We're going to lunch now, so we'll see what that, what all yeah. comes from that. She can read it. Whether well, she'll read it, we've you know, been able to eat some yeah, well, she can. food and get some fuel back into our bodies. And we are so stinking full. <laughs> and now we're we tired. Had, kind of nice. Basically, kind of left the camera to the side and uh, yeah, I think what we're gonna do. so concentrated on eating. I thought about it, but. I didn't mess with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we were starving. We had anything all day. Hardly. We'd only had a little bit of water. Yeah. So we we were having a time of day. And uh, and now we are so full and so big and tired. And price is the price. Well, because well, they were all sunburned. But he, he's not too bad. But I'm, I'm sunburned. As you can see, my face is all like red. red. I'm not blushing. It's all sunburned. Okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna go do some place. souvenir oh, shopping, I think. It's do really I big. feel like it? Not at all. <laughs> well, you wish you had? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's been a good day so far. See how the rest of the day goes. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs>